Stretch element allows you to extend or shorten elements by moving the endpoints and vertices that lie within a fence. In this section, you will need to adjust the location of several walls due to a slight design change. You will utilize the stretch element tool to quickly and efficiently perform this task, otherwise avoiding numerous steps from a variety of manipulation and modification tools. Continuing in the proposed restaurant DGN file, we're now going to zoom to where we constructed the janitor's closet, near column B7. The janitor's closet was slightly oversized when initially laying out the line work. We need to adjust several walls in order to make the space smaller. To avoid numerous steps with a variety of manipulation and modification tools, we will utilize the stretch tool to quickly and easily adjust the location of the walls. So, along the ribbon, from the manipulate group of the home tab, we'll select the stretch tool. The stretch tool allows you to extend or shorten elements by moving the endpoints and vertices that lie within a fence. The tool operates on elements as followed. A vertex of a line, line string, multi-line, or shape is moved if it is inside the fence. A vertex outside the fence is not moved. An endpoint of an arc is moved if it is inside the fence. An arc endpoint outside the fence is not moved. An ellipse, circle, or cell is moved if it is completely inside the fence, or one or more poles of a B-spline surface that are located inside the fence are moved. So our task here is to resize the janitor's closet. Following the status bar prompt, we'll define the fence block by entering a data point that is up and to the left of the janitor's closet. Next, we'll move the cursor down and to the right and issue a data point to define the opposite corner. We are prompted to identify the first point. For this, we'll issue a data point anywhere in the view, preferably near the fence that we just placed. Next, we'll move the cursor in an upward direction and index to the Y axis, that green tick mark of the AccuDraw compass. We'll then key in the distance of 430 and issue a data point. As can be seen, the tool remains active and ready for another potential stretch operation. Instead, we'll press reset. The space has now been adjusted to reflect the lesser requirement for the space. You will just need to verify your work. Now, from the Analyze tab, in the Measure Ribbon group, we're going to select the Measure Distance tool. Here, we'll measure the inside edge of the long wall. Then, we'll verify our design that the distance measures 2,183. So we just finished verifying the resized janitor closet. Our next task here is to verify the server station. So with the measure distance tool still active, we'll measure the inside wall of the server station that is next to the sushi bar and dining wall. As can be seen, the measurement indicates that this is a 635 millimeter section. We need to adjust this wall so that it measures 762. So we'll make the stretch tool active again. Like before, we'll create a rectangular fence by placing two opposite points around the T wall as shown. When using stretch, the most important thing is to place the fence carefully so that it includes the vertices that you want to move. That being said, our next step is to data point for the first point. We'll move the cursor to the right and key in 127. We'll data point to accept, followed by an immediate reset. Again, we're going to verify the new wall's length by utilizing the measure distance tool. As can be seen, this inside measurement now reads 762. So then this will finish our task here of resizing both the janitor's closet and the server station. As a follow-up to resizing our design, we measured to confirm our distances. During this lesson, 
you learned how to stretch elements and measure distance. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.